Pennsylvanians have died from the opioid epidemic. There is a face attached to each number and a family feeling all that pain and loss. CBS 21's Michael Gorsinger takes us on the journey of a local mother who lost her daughter to addiction and the way she's trying to make sure her death isn't in vain. Full of life with a bright future ahead. But like a growing number of young people, Sarah Mishler losing her battle with addiction. She just loved life and she, she definitely loved people and had a passion to help people, especially those less fortunate. A year's worth of medical ailments introducing Sarah to pain pills. Legal prescription opioids becoming too expensive to find a cheaper high, the 20 year old turning to heroin. I felt sick because at that point, I always thought it was homeless people. You know, I, I just had this picture in my mind that was horrible. And I didn't know how addictive it was. For the next four years, Sarah struggling to kick the habit, in and out of recovery, clean for a while, then using again. In the fall of 2015, a breakthrough. The 25-year-old deciding on her own to enter rehab, a life-changing moment that never happened. Three days out from heading into this place, she got out somewhere and got a pill, one pill. And we, she thought it was a Xanax. And she snorted it that night and died instantly. After burying a child, Lori Mishler decided something needed to change. So many children in need of help, and there are plenty of options for those in the throes of addiction. But for the families left behind, not too many choices. Enter Sarah's House of Hope. Our goal is to help the family because addiction is a family disease, and we focus on the person in addiction, and the family gets left behind. So we're focusing on the family part of it. Inside the walls of Sarah's House of Hope, parents, grandparents, and siblings, the focus of group therapy sessions, a tight-knit community bonding around the struggles of their loved ones with no judgment. Stop. Stop being ashamed of your child. Stop being ashamed of the disease. I'm not ashamed to tell people that my daughter died of an overdose. She had a problem. She had a disease, and, and she lost her battle. Everybody who walks in the door gets a frame. And it takes a lot of them a long time to get that frame up. One way to keep the person's memory alive, a wall of remembrance prominently displayed inside the center. Families placing pictures on the wall in an effort to never forget. I want to remember the good times. And I think when they put, finally put their photo up there, they're starting to remember the good times. Good times with good people suffering from a dreadful disease. And now as families try to move forward from the unimaginable, Lori Mishler hopes they remember one simple thing. You are not alone. That's that's what I tell people. You are not alone in this journey. In Cumberland County, Michael Gorsegner, CBS 21 News.